Welcome back to Graybeard's Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to make a phone holder for your motorcycle that uses scrap metal and an inexpensive phone holder that you can get off of Amazon, eBay, or whatever, depending on your phone. This one is for my new Galaxy 20, S21 Ultra. And it cost me about $21. I never used a holster on my belt, so this makes a perfect mount. Uh, what I'm using is some scrap metal from a cover off of an old welder that gave up on me. So you can use any kind of sheet metal, steel, aluminum, whatever. I uh, prefer pretty much the thinner the better. And the way we're attaching it to the bike is with industrial grade 3M uh, Velcro. This way it may say non-permanent, non-damaging install. Uh, this is my prototype here. I run it for about a month. I totally love it. It is secure. It does not vibrate hardly at all. And if you want, you can always pull it off. And I'm putting this on a Rushmore 2014 Ultra Limited that has the vent just below the windshield. Therefore, I have these holes for ventilation to where it does not disrupt the airflow coming from the vent. So this is an option you can do. Uh, some people say the vent doesn't do anything for them. I intentionally uh, get a lot of buffeting. So I do everything I can to keep that airflow going in. So this here's a simple little project. The only expense is for the Velcro, which is about $5 and about $21 for the phone case. And I'll see about putting some links for the phone case company I use. It's a SUP case by Unicorn Beetle. It's a heavy duty uh, protective armored case for your phone. Uh, it's very comparable. I think actually better than the OtterBox cases. So I'll now and also on my tablets and I'm a rather clumsy individual when it comes to stuff like that and it survived me so I can say these cases are great. Alright folks, first step in your process you're going to lay out your measurements to match your phone holster. Which I have here in my case my width is going to be six and three quarter inches. This is going to be my mounting surface for onto the fairing and this can be the mounting surface for the phone holster. I've already laid out my lines for my ventilation holes here. So the next step is just get this cut out, clean up the edges, and then we'll go about drilling these holes, and then we'll mount the uh, holster onto the mount here, and it'll be just about done. Other than cleaning up, painting, and uh, placing the Velcro. It's a very simple uh, little project, and like I said, it's a lot cheaper than most commercial phone cases out there. So let's get this cut out.
this is going to be the side in which the holster mounts onto, and this is the side that the holes for the ventilation and also the velcro for mounting it onto the fairing. And after I get these edges cleaned up a bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners off here, uh, round them off a little bit. That way, you know, it's not it makes it look a little bit better and it's less likely to poke yourself at any time trying to install or. Uh, So the next step in this process is we're going to go ahead and drill the uh, ventilation holes uh, for that vent on the fairing. I'm, uh, I've got three holes on either side of center spaced an inch apart and we're going to run eh, about probably a 9 16 maybe a 5 8 inch hole. Uh, just your choice of preference you can put as many as you want but this is what I did for my prototype which is right here and it worked out great for me. First thing I'm going to do is going to mark the spot on my center lines here. That way the drill bit has something to grab onto. And I'm using a uni bit. And it tends to work best that I've found for doing these holes. If not, if you don't have uni bits, you can use start out with a smaller bit, probably about an eighth inch, and work your way up to whatever size you got. These uni bits are pretty awesome. I mean, all the ones I have I've gotten from Harbor Freight and uh, they're pretty good not too bad and relatively inexpensive all right There you have it. 
come back on the opposite side. Clean up any of these little flashes that come up. This type of bed is the best I found for uh, cutting sheet metal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill out these rivets that are on my prototype so I can pull my holster off of here and get it lined up on the new one. So I'm using just an eighth inch bit. Just drill out the center of the rivets and I should pop that out. So now we've got that separated from there. <clears throat> Alright, when it comes to this holster, it's got a belt clip here with the rotating device on it. All you have to do is on this side, you can peel, it's like a fuzzy sticker here. You peel that back and you got two retainers here. You use a little screwdriver, pop them out. Then I went back and just used a uh, sanding disc and smoothed this out to where it's flush with the back. And then what's nice about doing that, this recessed area where that tape was at gives you plenty of room for your uh, rivet heads to be below the phone surface or below the case surface so your phone's not rubbing up against them. Alright, so this is going to be the mounting surface. Got a little bit of a bend in there, you can fix that. Alrighty. So that's flat. Now what I'm going to do is get this lined up, make sure it's nice and even. Just like so. A little bit of a tweak here. Actually, ah, make sure my table's a little whacked out here, so nice and level. Do some here nice and level, center it up. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is mark my first hole. I'm going to use this 8 inch bit, the size of my rivets, get this first hole drilled. take our first rivet here and use a relatively short one so what we do we put the rivet through the holster then through the mount all right now 
what I'm going to use is these rivet backers. These are aluminum, and it goes on to the back side of the rivet, and it gives you more of a surface area to pinch through and less likely for your rivets to punch through. So these are just simple pop rivets. We get everything lined up here. Give it a little squeeze. Double check your alignment. Another squeeze. And there's your pop. All right, so we got the head of the rivet pulling up against the backer, give you a nice solid construction. So you double check, make sure everything's square, and then we move on to the next one. Just go through. And this way you can double check your alignment. Just make sure it doesn't move on you, because uh, my prototype, it was a little crooked. home grab our rivet Put it through this is where you check your alignment make sure everything is nice and straight put your backer on your rivet lines up there she goes all right another successful rivet all right now that this is all lined up it's just a matter of drilling these last two holes and putting your rivets in get any flash on the back side of the hole here you can do your best to get that off of there because that can interfere with the rivet grabbing really well On. Lock her down. Now for the last one. flash off of there. You could put a little piece of wood or something on the back of this and it helps prevent that flash from coming through when your drill bit comes through the sheet metal. Time for the last rivet. This will push through. Backer on the rivet. All right, and there it is. So my next step is I'm gonna already scuffed the paint up on it here. So what I'm gonna do now is shoot me a coat of black paint on there that would blend in really well. This is a super secure mount. Uh, guarantee you're not going to lose your phone uh, if by some chance you go down or hit a pothole, whatever. You're not going to lose your phone with this type of setup here. I said I'm going to use four pieces of Velcro just like this. And I said this is the industrial grade Velcro. This stuff, that once it grabs, is there. And I said it takes a little bit of effort to get it off. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And like I said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a coat of paint on this thing. And then once that's done, uh, and that paint's dry, I'll come back and we'll lay some Velcro down. And then uh, we'll show you how it fits on the bike. All right, everybody, so here's our end result. Use a little bit of gloss black paint, throw a protective coat on it. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put the Velcro strips on here, and I'm gonna show you once it's installed. So I'm gonna put four strips on here. Like I said, this is the industrial grade Velcro. And one thing to note, when you go to mount it your first time, you're gonna put your Velcro together, attach it to this side here, and then uh, what you're gonna do is once you get all your Velcro laid out, you're going to clean off the area on your fairing where this is going to be mounted. And you're going to have, like I said, both pieces. You're going to have one side attached to this and the other side attached, stuck on. And you're going to peel your backing off and you're going to set it on to your fairing and press it down. And let it sit for about 20-30 minutes. Make sure that glue settles really good and then you can remove it. But that way you don't have to guess where the Velcro goes on your fairing. tell it's when you've got the industrial grade because the backing doesn't want to come off very easy just make sure you press that down really good and also leave a bit of a rough surface kind of like I got here when I was running the sanding disc that way that glue has something good to grab onto just like when you're putting paint on you know, got a little bit of a rough surface the glue will grab better than just on the slick one all right so we got our velcro in place so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see how we get this thing attached on here and show you how it looks Alright, so you can see here from my previous installation my Velcro, we've got two strips across the front, the base of the windshield, and two right here. Like I said, installing it like this, there's no, it's not permanent, and there's no damage to anything, so you can always at any point remove this Velcro, clean it up, and it's like it was never there. So what you're going to do, is, like I said, when you go to uh, mount it the first time, you'd have both sides on here, drop it in place, and push it down. So all you do is just slide her up here, centered, up to the base of the windshield, and drop her down, give her a little bit of pressure, engage that Velcro, and there you go. I've ridden it with like this all the way up from here from Tucson and the Grand Canyon and back and never had a bit of issue. So once it's in there, she's in there. Then all you gotta do is just clip your phone in. It doesn't uh, interrupt your vision to your gauges. It's right there in front. So if you're running any kind of uh, navigation applications or music or whatever, you got it right there in front of you. And also another nice thing about having it right here is that I do run GoPros. So sometimes I can pull the GoPro app up and actually see what my cameras are seeing and control my cameras from here. So let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down there below uh, any suggestions that might improve the design or what you think of the design and also uh, shoot me a line if you try this